Being in a partnership provides security and comfort, but when jealousy intrudes, it can alter the course of a positive, healthy relationship. Unfortunately, a partner may do the unimaginable when they feel deceived. This is the tragic story of 36-year-old Foxworth, Mississippi, nurse, wife, and mother of two, Zakoya Johnson Eccles. Let's examine this case to learn more about Johnson's fate and the person who killed her, depriving her children of a mother. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Zakoya's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg is a city in southern Mississippi, located about 90 miles southeast of Jackson. The city has a population of around 47,000 residents. Known as the Hub City, Hattiesburg is a central point connecting larger cities like Jackson, Gulfport, New Orleans, and Mobile. The city is home to the University of Southern Mississippi and William Carey University, giving it a strong educational and cultural presence. Hattiesburg and the unincorporated African-American community of Palmer's Crossing played a key role in the civil rights transitions of the 1960s. The 36-year-old Zakoya Narissa Johnson was a mother, sister, and daughter. From Foxworth, Mississippi, Zakoya attended West Marion High School. Those who know Zakoya describe her as fond, affectionate, and fiercely protective of her children. She was also married to a man named Kenrod Cartes Eccles, 50, who was from Columbia. Zakoya thought she had found her soulmate. She really loved him, and she was happy to be married to him. Through romantic photos, vacations, and social media posts, they demonstrated their love for the world. That was only a glimpse inside their marriage, though, Kenrod was growing dangerously possessive beneath the surface. Zakoya balanced the responsibilities of motherhood with a nursing career, giving her everything to her children. Many people around her described her as someone who was always willing to help others, and she had a smile that could light up any space with her laughing. She truly enjoyed being a wife and mother, and she liked seeing her children blossom. She was excited to watch her children grow, advance in her work, and simply see what 2025 would bring. Regretfully, she would not survive to witness that year. On October 26, 2024, officers arrived about 10 a.m. to a report of a car colliding with a building on Park Place Avenue. They discovered Zakoya unresponsive, with an apparent gunshot wound to the abdomen. She was pronounced dead at the scene. When they attempted to assess her condition, it was too late. She had passed away. After more investigation, it became clear that it wasn't just a crash. She had sustained an abdominal wound. The Hattiesburg Police Department said that Kenrod had contacted law authorities and acknowledged to his role in the shooting. Kenrod was charged with both first-degree murder and tampering with evidence, as well as criminal mischief. He is being held at the Forest County Jail. According to Lamar County Coroner Blake Mathern, Johnson's body was transferred to the state crime lab in Biloxi for an autopsy. There were no other reported injuries in the collision. Eccles was given a $750,000 bond for first-degree murder, a $25,000 bond for tampering with evidence, and a $25,000 bond for malicious mischief, according to the jail's website. A Pine Belt man is in custody, charged in the death of his wife. Welcome in, I'm Keandra Malloy. We know now she was found with an apparent gunshot wound after her vehicle crashed into a building yesterday. Now, take a, take a look at your screen. This is 50-year-old Kenrod Eccles of Columbia. He has been charged with first-degree murder, tampering with evidence, and malicious mischief. That's in connection to the death of 36-year-old Zykoya Johnson Eccles, the Hattiesburg Police Department says Kenrod and Zykoya were married. Lamar County Coroner confirms Zykoya's identity last night and says her body is being sent to the Mississippi State Crime Lab in Biloxi. Now here's what we've learned so far about the shooting. This is a video of the scene on Park Place Avenue where HPD says officers responded to a report of a vehicle crashing into a building Saturday morning. Now originally Hattiesburg Police said Zykoya was found 
found unresponsive in her vehicle and pronounced dead on the scene. Today, HPD confirmed she was found unresponsive with an apparent gunshot wound to her abdomen. Authorities say Kid Rock contacted them shortly after her body was found, admitting to his involvement in the shooting. Now, HPD says this is an ongoing investigation. The WDAM-7 is on your side with these developments in this case. We will bring you the latest news on air and online. Update out of Hattiesburg. Bond is set for a man investigators say admitted to his wife's murder over the weekend. She was found dead inside a vehicle in Hattiesburg over the weekend. 50-year-old Kenrod Cartez Eccles had his bond set at $800,000 during his initial appearance in Hattiesburg Municipal Court today. He faces three charges, first-degree murder, tampering with evidence, and malicious mischief. His wife, Zakoya Johnson Eccles, was found dead around 10 a.m. Saturday on Park Place Avenue. She was in a vehicle that had crashed into a building there. When Ken Rod watched a video of Zakoya dancing with another man, chaos erupted. Whether it was a friend or just a moment of happiness, Ken Rod's anxiety exploded. Unreasonably jealous and furious, he insisted that Zakoya hand up her phone. The dispute turned violent when she refused. However, he became even more enraged when she refused to give him her phone. The discussion heated up. Things were knocked off tables. Abruptly, Kenrod reached for his handgun and aimed it at her. He pulled the trigger in his rage. A senseless act of violence during a domestic argument, the bullet tore into Zakoya's abdomen. Zakoya stumbled out of the home, clutching her stomach. As she got into her car and hurried to the hospital, blood was all over her clothes. Thoughts of her kids, fear, and incredulity that the man she had trusted could do this to her were all racing through her head. Her body failed her as the car raced down Park Place Avenue. She was losing so much blood that she was having trouble holding the driving wheel and keeping her eyes open. She understood that she had to make it for her kids' sake. However, her body betrayed her, causing her to lose control and, regrettably, die. The collision happened on Park Place Avenue, a street with modest residences and a few small businesses that is generally calm. The building with which Johnson's car struck is a one-story building that contains a local office. Zakoya had a reputation for being giving and smiling. Johnson had an ability to bring love and appreciation to everyone around her. She participated in church activities and volunteered at local charity events and community drives. She was also active in a number of community events. We hope that Zakoya's family and friends can find solace in the knowledge that justice will be done as they continue on their healing journey. We hope Zakoya Johnson's spirit finds peace. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.